Hi, and welcome to this episode of John's Model Kit Review. Today, I've got a really cool review for you. It is Edward's 148 scale Yakovlev Yak 3. And this particular boxing is the Red Devils boxing. It is kit number 8027. In the future, I will also be reviewing Zvezda's more recent Yak 3 model kit. So stay tuned for that. Previously, I built a different boxing of this kit. And you can see the picture here. I really like the way this kit turned out. In this model kit review, we're going to be taking a look at the kit instructions. We'll be taking a look at the parts that come in the box. We'll be taking a look at the surface detailing of the major parts on the kit. We'll also take a look at the detailing on the interior bits. We will also look at the cockpit transparencies. There are masks included in this kit and the instruction for applying those masks. We'll look at the color and marking guides and the marking options that come in this kit. We'll take a look at the kit decals that are included in the kit. We'll talk about any additions or modifications that I made to the kit parts, and then I will give my conclusions at the end. In this review, we'll be attempting to answer the question, is this the easiest 148 scale aircraft kit that Edward has ever produced? Taking a look at the kit instructions, step one has you detail painting the interior of the fuselage sides. It also has you mounting the radio compartment behind the pilot. Once those parts are installed, it has you joining the fuselage halves and attaching the exhaust and the upper engine cowl. Looking at the interior detail on the fuselage sides, what detail is there is not overly pronounced, but it does look good under a coat of paint. And once you've detail painted it and looking at it through the cockpit, everything really is acceptable for the scale. The tail wheel mount is nice. It actually has a representation for the leather cover that goes over that. I like that. In step two, you're just joining the upper and lower wings. And the only thing I did here as a modification to what comes in the kit, I made the prominent splitter plate and put that in the middle of the intake. And you'll see that on all Yak 3s. That's the only real omission in this kit. Moving on, step three has you building the cockpit interior on top of the wing assembly. And this is really a unique parts breakdown to this kit. And although it seems a little bit unconventional, it really does turn out nicely. Looking at the instrument panel, the detail here is raised. It's very nice. Looking at the back of the seat, that looks good as well. The seat back is also very thin and scale appropriate, which I like. If we look at the finished kit here, we can see the instrument panel, and that really does look good once it's detail painted. Step four is just attaching the fuselage to the wing assembly and the tail planes to the fuselage. The fit I got on this kit was superb. I didn't have any issues. I did not use any putty on this kit. Everything just went together very, very nicely. Step five is a two-part step. The first part has you building and installing the landing gear. There are nice diagrams here that show the angle of the gear doors, the angle of the gear. This really came out nicely. I had no issues with this step when I built the kit. The second part of step five just has you installing the lower radiator on the kit and the tail wheel and the tail wheel doors. Everything here goes very smoothly. Step six has you mounting the gun sight and the armored glass behind the pilot. Step seven covers assembling the prop and installing that and the pitot tube and the cockpit transparencies. Looking at the transparencies themselves, these parts look great. The clarity on them is nice. They're crisply molded. They fit perfectly into place. And I love the option to pose the canopy open. This kit does come with canopy masks. These particular masks look a little bit on the old side. So we'll see how they perform when I use them on the kit. There are nice instructions on how to apply the canopy masks as well. There are also masks for the red star on the spinner on one of the painting options as well. There are two marking options included in this kit. The first one is for Yellow 15, flown by Simeon Rogo of the 1st Guards Fighter Division in 1945. The next option is for a Yak-3 flown by Lieutenant Colonel Boris Yeriman, commander of the 6th Guard Fighter Aviation Division. 
Both of these marking options are colorful. The decals themselves look nice. They're in register, and I don't anticipate any problems at all with these decals. Looking at the surface detailing of the major parts, you can see the interior of the landing gear wells. The exterior detail on the kit is engraved. It's very petite. It's very uniform. The panel lines are consistent, but it's definitely more simplistic than you would get on a newer Edward kit. On the actual Yak-3, the wings had plywood skinning. The rear fuselage is also covered with plywood. So there really is very minimal detail to the surface of this aircraft. Looking at the detail parts, the wheels look nice. The inside of the landing gear looks nice. And again, what is here is consistent. There's not a ton of flash. The fit on all of these parts is really nice as well. And if you take your time, clean the parts up, you should be able to have a filler-free build. In conclusion, is this Edward Yak-3 the easiest Edward kit ever produced? Well, I have to say, it's the easiest Edward kit I've built to date. I really enjoyed this build the first time through. I'm looking forward to building it again. The decals perform great. The clear parts are great. The fit on the kit is great. It's not parts heavy. It goes together easily. Even the addition of the splitter plate in the intake of this kit should not present a major challenge to modelers of any skill level. I can really recommend this kit to modelers of most skill levels. Well, I'd love to know what you guys think. If any of you have built Edward's Yak-3 previously, please feel free to comment in the comment section below. As always, I hope you found this video entertaining and informative. And until next time, model on.